Joss Dernan was born and raised in Irvine. Now an archaeologist and architectural historian, he has been delving into the town's archives. What piqued your interest in Irvine Newtown Plan? My parents had a copy of the book when I was a kid. When I opened this book, it had all these fantastic illustrations inside. You have these kind of really vivid, bright blue Californian skies almost, you know, sports cars everywhere. So this essentially was the blueprint of what Irvine was to become. Yeah. So here you've got this map here is just showing you the kind of extent of what they were going to propose. So a completely new shopping centre, one continuous building over the river, over a, a motorway, over the railway, and then continuing all the way down the, the harbour side, basically. And the original plan had a motorway on the beachfront and then monorails and roller coasters, fun fairs. Monorails? Yeah. Where was a monorail going to go in Irvine? It was all part of this kind of interconnecting of every part of the town. The whole of Irvine was to be transformed. It was enormous. It was going to be the biggest new town in Scotland by quite some margin. But one of the main things, though, was to decant people from a lot of substandard housing in mm. Glasgow. They designed these houses to be structured around open squares initially to preserve some aspect of the community that they had in Glasgow. So you have kind of Irvine slap bang at the centre of this graphic and all these flight paths connecting it to the world, basically. I particularly love this one because it goes Irvine, North America. Just like that. I think one of my favourite uh, brochures is this one. It's, um, it's got this couple, <laughs> a semi-naked couple, presumably yeah, on, on a lovely on hot beach. A lovely hot beach and lots of bikinis, but actually it's a bit industry yeah. inside. Yeah. Floor laboratories, Wilson Sporting Goods and Control Room Beach and Pharmaceuticals. And yet, on the front, nothing to do with that. They were really trying with Irvine to kind of really fuse these concepts of leisure and industry. So they were anticipating that people were going to have a lot more free time as time went by. But what did all this say about the kind of po local political ambition at the time for not only Irvine but Scotland? The country was going to be transformed into this brave new world, this sort of shining utopia. I mean, that shopping centre over the river almost sits there like something docked from outer, outer space. It just seems totally unimaginable today. And yet they were planning this in the 1970s, you know, it's crazy. It's just so unbelievably ambitious.